Hi, this is the fourth and final video for my development of an Untitled Sonata, a third-person action-adventure game that I've been working on as part of my final university project. In the last video, I talked about level design and creation, covering everything from paper design to foliage and detail. In this video, I'll be talking about creating and implementing audio, as well as the polish process. One of the first sections I focused on was animations for both the player and the enemies. Watching both of them float around the scene was beginning to have an effect on my confidence in this game's completion, so I decided to tackle that issue first. The player was given a running, rolling, attacking and healing animation. The grunt enemies were given attacking animations, and the boss enemy was given a walking, charge up and throwing attack animation. This made the overall gameplay look and feel so much more fleshed out than previously, and made me much more confident in the look of the game. I also added an animation to the debris puzzle sign talked about in the previous video. Now the sign falls to the position where the ramp appears, giving it one fluid motion. Next came the creation of one of the most important areas of the game, the audio. I recorded the piano backing track in Ableton Studio using my MIDI keyboard via USB. This took several hours, but was worth it in the end, and you can hear the music playing currently. I also recorded Foley sound in Ableton using my microphone and various padding such as pillows and blankets. Though I didn't use it for too much, it was definitely a good experience and taught me a lot. After creating the audio I imported all of it into FMOD, as that is how the sounds are played in this game. Upon doing some FMOD research, I found out that you can add parameters to each piece of audio, and so I set out on creating a piece of adaptive audio that changes if an enemy is aiming to kill you. Here is the transition. After completing that, I moved on to boss music. This time, I wanted the player's health to be the parameter for change. So when the player's health falls below 50%, the music becomes much more intense and stressful. Importing audio into Unity from FMOD is quite simple as it is mostly code based. The line of code required to play most of the audio is on screen right now. Finally, I wanted the game to look complete, even if it is currently only a vertical slice. I looked into Unity's post-processing effects and proceeded to adjust them to see what the game would look like. The result was a significant difference and thus I kept them in. I feel like post-processing makes the game feel a lot less dull and full of life. You can see the difference having post-processing effects makes now. Steve Swink describes Polish as any effect that artificially enhances interaction without changing the underlying simulation. I believe that the elements of Polish that I have added not only enhance the interaction the player has with the game, but almost defines it. These four videos have hopefully shown the creative process of this game. The boss fight can be seen on the screen currently. I'm happy with the way this game turned out, and a copy of the Vertical Slice can be found on my itch.io page.
for these videos. That's everything.